Hey, uh, good morning. This is Luke Owen with the NPDS Training Institute. I wanted to shoot a quick video here. You know, Georgia doesn't always get a lot of snow. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, here in the southeast, uh, it's really unlikely in the Atlanta area that we get maybe a little skiff in the wintertime. But today, we're seeing rain and snow and freeze and all of that. And, of course, I get questions uh, at this time about, well, what do we do when it snows? Is, is there a, a half inch snow event or is there a, uh, a one inch snow event that we have to sample for? And uh, the answer to that question is no. As a matter of fact, uh, Georgia doesn't address snow in our NPDS permits. And snow is very subjective in terms of how it accumulates and how it falls. You know, sometimes snow where I grew up in Colorado, in the high country, uh, very dry. And, you know, it take a lot of snow to create a half inch of rain, uh, the volume. Whereas, you know, the snow that we're getting here is fairly wet and it'll melt here pretty quick uh, within another couple of days, I'm sure, at least, uh, probably even sooner than that. And there isn't really a snow event to sample for or to perform a site inspection for or anything like that. That said, it's real important that we always control the runoff. And to understand how snow impacts a graded construction site, especially one that has a sandy, coarse, cut and fill slope. Um, what I've seen here, even in Georgia, is slope failure. As people want to go back to work, and let's say you have a builder wanting to kind of scrape off the snow and shove it over to the side, maybe at the top of a cut and fill slope. Well, when that snow starts to melt, it actually will saturate that soil and create such a heaviness and a poor pressure within the particles of that slope that it will fail. And I've seen it uh, plug creeks. I've seen it uh, cover up roads, uh, things like that. So we need to be aware about how to handle snow and certainly the runoff that comes from it when it does melt. We're responsible for that as MPDS permittees. So anyway, I hope this little video, uh, although it's short and I apologize for my my hands kind of jiggling here a little bit but i wanted to kind of explain that to you and hopefully it'll be helpful for you thanks so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you hopefully in a future class bye bye